Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Superman Lois Season 4. Today we're going to be talking about what the Lois Lane actor Bitsy Tullock had to say about the ending of the show. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos later this year. So if you guys remember a while ago, it came out that the CW boss said that Superman Lois was actually told to end because of Warner Brothers and because of there being one too many Superman projects at the same time. That was Brad Schwartz, that was a while ago, I think it was back in February. And so according to him, the decision to end Superman Lois came down from Warner Brothers because they didn't want a competing Superman product with the upcoming Superman film coming out at a similar time. Now obviously we have to take that with a grain of salt because we know that the CW wouldn't want to continue Superman Lois supposedly if we base it on, you know, all the other shows that they've cancelled, that they've ended because they just don't want to go with shows that don't have like a special Netflix deal or anything like that that's going to make them a bunch of money. So in my opinion, I don't think Superman Lois would have con continued even if this didn't come down from Warner Brothers, but I do believe Warner Brothers could have done this and... You know, back then it was a big controversy when it was released, you know, the statement from Brad Schwartz, because I don't think anyone was expecting that, but it's not out of sorts for Warner Brothers. Like, in the past, we know Superman wasn't able to appear in Supergirl for a long time, and also Batman couldn't appear in the Arrowverse. There was lots of rules brought down by, you know, the people in charge because they wanted to focus on the DCU and they didn't see the Arrowverse as something as valuable and that's because it just wasn't making as much money compared to what they could potentially make with these movies released in the cinemas. And so with that in mind, and I just needed to remind you of that because that links into what Bitsy Tullock had to say about the ending of the show. So that's a little bit of context in case you guys forgot because it has been a good few months since that was talked about but basically she said this and this was from the Superman homepage video I've made two previous videos on this talking about different segments and so if you haven't watched the video go check it out it's in the link in the description below and this was at a Superman celebration event in Illinois and so what she said and I'm paraphrasing here is that I've met James Gunn and I think he's a wonderful visionary and I'm excited to see Rachel Brosnahan who is the next Lois Lane and this was in response to a question basically asking about the DCU and asking about what comes next and you know the kind of legacy of a role like Lois Lane and so she was very complimentary of Rachel Brosnahan and complimentary of James Gunn and she says that they have a vision for DC and I trust them and then she goes on to talk about what it was like at the time when they didn't know if they were being renewed or not. She said, there was some fear with Warner Brothers and the CW upheaval, again I'm paraphrasing, you can watch the video to see what she actually says but it's kind of broken up into bits, but all of the cast and crew couldn't believe how late they were told about the renewal because you guys have to remember it was for a long time an uncertainty and a lot of people got very annoyed about the season 3 cliffhanger because they thought, oh, you know, that was irresponsible from Todd Helbing, considering the CW by that point had cancelled a bunch of Arrowverse shows. So if he wasn't sure if they were going to get a season four, like, what would it be like if we ended on that? And Bitsy actually commented on that at the event. She said something along the lines of, you know, ending with Doomsday would have been so annoying. But then it was at the point you know, a couple months later, and you guys have to remember, like, they were going around doing conventions, people were asking them, it was during the time of the writer's strike starting, and I was actually at one convention in Birmingham in the UK, and Tyler was there, and he was on the stage, and he was asked, and, you know, he had to, you know, say, uh, I have no idea if we're being renewed, don't know if we're going to start shooting soon, but obviously with the writer's strike, they couldn't do anything at the time, they couldn't even get started with writing anything, we talked about that lots last summer, but they finally got a call from one of the producers at Belanti and they said it's going to be a smaller season with 10 episodes, but they are going to shoot it. And so where Bitsy actually refers to what happened with Warner Brothers and the fact that, you know, Warner Brothers basically brought it down to CW and said, look, we have two Superman projects at the same time. We know that you're thinking about probably ending the show just based on, you know, them cancelling all the other CW shows. So I believe they came to an agreement 
to say, okay, season four, this is going to be the end. And I don't think the CW fought back against Warner Brothers. And that's the saddest thing about this all. Obviously, I'm speculating here, but I do believe when Warner Brothers pushed the CW, I think the CW didn't push back at all. And so, you know, Bitsy talks about the upheaval between Warner Brothers and the CW. Obviously, individually, they had lots of changes behind the scenes. She mentions Next Star. She mentions the changes at Warner Brothers as well. And so I believe that the actors pretty much knew this was going to be the final season of the show just based on what was happening at Warner Brothers, what was happening at CW. It just really seemed at the time there was no place for Superman and Lois. I know lots of fans were speculating whether we would even get a season four. I was pretty confident we would get a season four, but I was not surprised when they announced it would be the fourth and final season. Despite, if you remember, quite a way back, maybe a couple years ago, James Gunn, when he became the head of the DCU, said that Superman and Lois probably had a couple of seasons left in it, or like a couple more years. And so I'm pretty sure people took that to be, okay, season four is either the end or it'll be season five, but it turned out to be season four. And so that's it for this topic, but we're staying on track. We're talking about Superman. Let's talk about the Superman film directed by James Gunn because we got some big new castings. Now these castings link into Supergirl characters that we saw in the Supergirl TV show and obviously characters from the Superman comics. And so it's all kind of linked to Daily Planet and what's going on in that part of the film. It seems to be a relatively big part of the film because a lot of the casting has been kind of filling out that Daily Planet newsroom. And so you've got Jimmy Olsen that was announced a while ago. And then you also have, you know, Perry White. I believe Wendell Pierce is playing him. We know Eve Tessmacher is going to be in the film. And so we've got some more castings for characters who are going to be in the Daily Planet in the film. And so obviously Superman is filming right now with David Corenswet and Rachel Brosnahan. And they're going to be joined by other people, including a actor called Beck Bennett. Now, some of you guys know him from Saturday Night Live. He's going to be playing Steve Lombard, who is a character in the comics, who is a reporter. He's relatively unknown, but a kind of important character. So I look forward to seeing him because he's definitely a notable actor among, you know, the supporting cast. But sources have told The Hollywood Reporter that Michaela Hoover is going to be in the film and that she is in fact playing Cat Grant. Cat needs no introduction to my audience because most of you have watched Supergirl, obviously she was popularized by Callista Flockhart on the Supergirl show and she's a big thing in the comics, she is linked to the Daily Planet, she's linked to the Daily Planet even in Supergirl as well and so she is a big character and I'm looking forward to seeing her on the big screen because I'm a fan of the character. Now, I'm not gonna lie and tell you guys that, you know, I know everything about who is playing Cat Grant. I don't really know much about Michaela Hoover, but if you look her up online, you can see, and I'm sure some of you guys are aware of her, but she has strong links to James Gunn because she has been in Guardians of the Galaxy playing a character. So I believe that is the link there. And then as for the other character that has just been cast recently that we have to talk about, and that character is Ron Troop. Now, Ron Troop is another reporter from the comics, and he is going to be played by a actor called Christopher McDonald. Now, this is not to be confused with the Happy Gilmore actor, as I previously confused it when I first read it, but he is a newcomer, so I don't actually know what he looks like or anything like that, so I can't give you any like good analysis about his acting, because I believe he is brand new to acting, and so he's going to be playing Ron Troop, who, you know, is a hotshot reporter, he is one of the most talented reporters that they got at the Daily Planet, and so I don't believe he's going to play a big part or as big as a part as Cat Grant, but we also have to remember the Cat Grant we saw in Supergirl was in charge of Cat Co. She wasn't the Daily Planet reporter that she previously was. And in this film, you're going to see Cat Grant, who is a reporter at the Daily Planet. So think Supergirl, think Callista Flockhart, but like, I don't know, 10, 15 years prior. So that's the Cat Grant we're going to be getting. And I hope she has a big part to play because 
I do love that Cat Grant character and I think the personality that Callista showed in Supergirl was just amazing and it would be great to see the kind of beginning of that character especially since Supergirl is coming into the fold maybe at some point they can cross over and yeah that would be great but for now thank you guys so much for watching that pretty much does it for this topic hopefully you enjoyed it it's been a mix of Superman Lois and the Superman film so hopefully the castings gave you a good insight into what's going on behind the scenes with some of the rest of the cast being rounded out and make sure to let me know down in the comments below what do you think of Bitsy's comments they're nothing too crazy but I still want to hear your thoughts so for now leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video and also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video but for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.